Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we're taking a look at Sifu on the PlayStation 5. Now this is my first impressions of it. I've played for about two hours now. Uh, I was live streaming that. Um, <laughs> okay, so this game is great. This game is awesome so far. Now, it, 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 it's okay. I, I've been hearing a lot about, oh my gosh, the games are so hard. So let's talk about, let's put this into perspective for a minute because... I've been thinking about this since I've been playing it, and like if you go back and you play games on like Super Nintendo or Nintendo or anything like that, you have a certain amount of, of continues, or not continues, yeah, continues, and, or or extra lives, you know, you find like extra lives along the way. Um, Sifu in structure kind of reminds me of that. Like the gameplay is challenging, yeah, because you need to learn how to play the game. Is it, is it, like, super hard? Like, I don't necessarily think so. I think that if you play, like, brawler games in the past, like, if you grew up playing brawler games and any of that kind of stuff, that's what this feels like. But it's a lot more, there's a lot more depth to it than that. Like, this game feels pretty good. The combat feels good. Um, it doesn't feel, like, super cheap or anything like that. It feels pretty good. It, it feels like you could get good at this game. And be like really good and not just be like oh my gosh like like having to learn how to be good i feel like with practice you can get good at this game is it going to get repetitive probably it could definitely get repetitive if it takes you a long time to learn if you're a slow learner yeah this game could probably get really repetitive would it get repetitive in like a in like a playthrough like if you sat down and like really like sat down and like really got into this game and and, and played a bunch of it yeah, I mean, if, if that's the way you got to play this game, if you buy this and you got to, like, just sit down and get through it to get through it, uh, dude, I don't know if that would be a good experience, man. This is one of those games that you can just come and play for a little while and, like, turn it off and then come back to. It, a lot of people are saying roguelite or whatever, but I think that term gets thrown around way too easy nowadays. Like, there's so... Like, I, I, I let myself age all the way out. I was playing. I was just playing around with it. I got I got beat up a lot. And get to, like, the maximum age of, like, 74 or whatever. But it would, like, let me keep playing the level over and over again. Like, I could just continue after that and still be 74. So, the, the, the... What I'm thinking is it wants you to try to get through the level as quick as... Po well, not as quick as... But by dying the least amount of times and i'll tell you like the more you play this and the more you get used to the controls and the moves and all the different stuff that you can do in here it does start to get a little easier you start to learn things that work really well and you can like dodge out of way and stuff like that you could block you could parry all of that stuff figuring out how to do that and to be good at it is where you're gonna like your practice is gonna come into handy like it's gonna get better this this game is pretty great uh, that first level that I got all the way through um, didn't seem like it would like it would, like if you like if I was to be able to get in there and like take everybody out pretty easy, maybe like 10, 15 minutes or something like that. So it didn't it didn't feel like this game is going to have like a huge freaking like a like a long story or anything to it. It's just one of those things where the gameplay loop in here is what's going to keep you coming back. I would not liken this to a Dark Souls or any other kind of game like that. This is just one of those ones that once you get familiar with the controls and learn how to play the game, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. I don't think you should write this off as like, oh my gosh, it's a super hard game. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. This is fun. The gameplay is fun. The gameplay loop is fun. Getting through here and learning new stuff. Like this game is built to entertain you and keep you entertained and continue to get you to a point where i don't necessarily i mean yeah you'll probably get frustrated if, if you if you keep messing up but whatever man it's a video game it's made to be played this game is designed to let you play for a long time to play and learn and have fun with that's what this game is designed for so i feel like if you pick this up play it have fun enjoy it get into the combat learn how to do it like try to get through these missions like without getting without getting knocked out one time play this game it's fun it really is good i'm i'm enjoying it i think it's solid more than worth the 
I don't even feel I, I I feel really good about this buy. I do. I feel really good about this one. I feel like this game right here is exactly what the industry has been craving. Stuff like this, stuff that makes you feel like you're playing a video game on Super Nintendo with some challenge. Not like the worst challenge in the world, but like with enough challenge to me like, whoa, dude, I want to get good. It's not like, oh my gosh, I have to get good. It's I want to get good. I want to be able to get through this whole stage without getting hit, you know, or, or take out all these people without. It's something that pushes you more and more to like be better at it. It it's great. I really like it. So let's talk about visual style. This is the one thing that I'm not really that freaking. Um, I'm not that really like, uh, oh my gosh, like head over heels about like it does look good. It looks sharp. It looks clean. I am playing on PlayStation 5 now like fighting wise and move wise like you can dodge and move around and stuff like this is cool you know it's got like special moves that you have to learn how to do like um like a like a palm a sweep and it's just one of those things like you can dodge quick dodge out of the way like this is good the movements are fast you can parry like this right here is like a block this right here lets you do something. I haven't really figured out this yet completely, but when like you got somebody there, it'll like let you zone in or something. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, but you can learn new moves. You can uh, come over here to the little tree right here. Um, and then you can learn stuff, you know, like 360 swing, um, strong sweep, snap kick. That's pretty cool. Spin hook kick charge back fist that looks pretty cool and it's just yeah there's so many different moves that you can learn to uh that you can pick up while you're playing through like it's 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 freaking cool man like this this game is solid it's got some it's got a deep combat system that will definitely help you uh that, that that's gonna be fun to play like i just i feel like this is gonna be fun you can like run real fast or whatever um yeah this is cool there's five different people that you're gonna have to take out so you're gonna have five different levels <laughs> that's the way it's looking to me so as far as i'm concerned like this this game is great it does exactly what it was designed to do and it's not something that you're just gonna burn right through so that's gonna not i mean yeah dude i mean seriously if you got into this game and you burned right through it are you really gonna feel satisfied with your purchase or I mean, think about it. When you're seeing all the little, the little, that, that's why I'm only showing you right here. That's why I'm only showing you right here. Because do you really think, like, with everything you saw, if you looked at this, all the gameplay that you've seen, all the combat, all the fighting, all the moves, do you really only want to play that game for five hours? Seriously? Do you really only want to play that for five hours? That's what I'm saying, man. The gameplay, the combat, the kung fu, that's what got you interested in this game. Do you not want to have to learn how to fully use those combat mechanics? Do you want to just be able to walk right through this game and not really learn how to be a Sifu? Come on, man. <laughs> why, why would anybody be upset about this game being tough or challenging or difficult? I don't get it. I'm 100% happy with this. I'm glad that I'm getting my butt whooped in the first level. I'm glad that I am getting challenged. Like, that's great. I do not see this game as one of those ones that are like, oh my gosh, this game is so hard, I'm, I'm not going to play it. I see this game as, wow, dude, finally, finally we are starting to get things like this back in the gaming space. If you grew up in the, in, in the Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all of those era, man, them games were hard. Hard. They were expensive and they were hard. Now we're starting to finally get a resurgence of games that are going to test your patience, that are going to demand you play them better. And that's not a bad thing. That's man, that's what we need. That's what we've been lacking for so long. There's just been so many easy games out there. You know, they come out and they give you like these these choices that you can cheat yourself out of a really good gameplay by choosing easy and stuff like that. This game is great. I, I, I feel like a lot more of it's going to come down to getting used to the controls and how that, that works. 
before you can actually like really really get into this game and really enjoy it like this is like this this takes me back to like old school um arcade type slash you know nintendo like older nintendo games this is good it's got a good structure it feels pretty deep it doesn't feel cheap yet it feels it feels fairly polished for what it is um i'm not running in i haven't ran any bugs i don't i don't feel like i'm i don't feel like i'm at a disadvantage other than learning the button combos and stuff like that that's the only thing i you know feel a little disadvantaged at but even that is not enough to make me be like oh yeah i don't want to finish playing that game i like it i think it's solid so far this is my first impressions for it sifu is a is a good get for playstation for real this is a good solid game so i definitely recommend uh checking it out if you're into a little bit of a challenge and you want to be able to enjoy games like you used to for sure this is one of those and yeah dude the systems and like the the movement and stuff like that is pretty cool like i do i do really appreciate being able to to play this game sit here and beat on this thing all day like it's got some cool moves being able to duck dodge move up yeah dude, this is cool this is cool i can't wait to continue playing this and learn more so if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one